What's up? It's your boy Ruben from EsquireLife.com coming at you with another quick video. Guys, really quick, thank you so much for uh, for all the views that I had in my last video. I noticed that I've been getting a lot of subscribers, so thank you so much. Anything that like that helps me, believe it or not, it actually motivates me uh, to go out there and actually make more videos. So just want to thank you. Uh, really quick, before I get started, um, as you already know in the title, definitely want to go over uh, another watch that I have, but I uh, just want to show off. Check this out, guys. Boom! Let that focus. <laughs> you know that's gonna be dirty. That's gonna be dirty. I don't know who's gonna win. Um, I don't care, but in my mind, I know who I want to win, so I'll just leave it at that. Don't want to say, you know, uh, give out anything because it's, I, I just don't want to get into it. You know, uh, whoever the winner is, obviously, is going to be the champ. Um, so we'll, we'll just leave it at that. As much as I want to talk about this, that's all I'm going to leave it to. So definitely want to make sure that, I, that I'm that i showing off because I'm excited for this fight. So really quick, guys, just want to go over uh, uh, another watch that I have. Um, like I mentioned, it's taken me a long time to actually, uh, you know, get these watches. And this is a watch that I've had um, towards the beginning of, of my collection. Um, I've had this watch going on, I believe it's three. I believe it's about three to four years. Probably a little bit longer. They're not not sure, but the watch that I'm talking about is my Panerai Five Ten Eight Day. Um, I mean, it's a beautiful watch. Um, I hardly ever um, pull this watch out. I always pull this out like on a special occasion. Like for the last time I actually really wore this watch was when I got married uh, in Hawaii, and I actually switched out the band. Right now, it actually has the the original band that it comes with. It's almost like a distressed leather, cracked leather. It's pretty cool. I remember when I first opened up the box, I looked at it as like, uh oh, they sent me this weird you know looking bad but believe it or not that's that's the way it is for the 510 so uh, I've actually enjoyed it um, but when I got married I actually put my alligator strap on and believe it or not it actually complimented my tuxedo um, but you know I changed it back to uh, the the distressed leather or the crack leather however you want to call it um, because it goes it goes great I mean right now I'm wearing a t-shirt I got my sports jacket on you see I got my little buttons right here rocking jeans and it, it's a great casual watch you know I definitely wanted to pull it out because I've been neglecting a lot of my watches um, like you like you saw my my Rolex two-tone that's been getting a lot of my attention but I'm starting to neglect you know some of the other watches that I have you know like my Panerai um, my uh, my uh, Breitling my Rolex GMT um, I mean other watches that I have that I've been not not been using but just wanted to you know, show you guys um, um, about this watch it's it's a great watch I love this watch simply because of the fact that when you change the band of this watch you know to a, a brown strap a, a, a alligator strap a, a, a rubber strap it just changes the whole appearance of the actual watch it's like having a whole new watch you know it's like putting you know different rims on your car or tinting the windows on your car it just makes it look so much different and believe it or not it, it's something where you know it, it looks elegant it's very simplistic I love the fact that it does have the sandwich style on it I mean the letters the the way it glows in the dark it just illuminates you know it, it's almost like a embossing in the actual in the actual numbers itself but uh, I mean I've had it for like I mentioned a couple years now I did have the PAM 104 um, like I mentioned I, I hardly ever used it so I actually traded that for for another watch that I had uh, that I have and then I got rid of too it's just you know you, you have all these things and you just was like okay you feel guilty and you know as much as I want to call myself a collector I'm really not too much of a collector but I am an avid uh, a watch guy. I mean, I love watches. Every time I, I, I watch a movie or, or a TV show, whatever, and I'm always looking. And my wife always asks me, "Hey, you know what type of watch he's using?" I said, "Boom! I'll, I'll just spit it out like that." But I'm slowly starting to grow my 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 collection, if you want to call it that. And, you know, like I mentioned, my my Rolexes, my Panerais, and you know, Breitlings, and all that. Eventually, I would say I, I want to move up to like an AP. Uh, maybe a Patek, but right now I, I got other things that I got to worry about. Like, like I mentioned, my sub, my Rolex uh, Two Tone is, is my biggest investment so far. But uh, a little bit more about this watch, guys. I, like I mentioned, you can it's interchangeable. You do have to wind this watch, you know, like uh, you know all the other watches. Um, 
I wish I had a watch winder. As many watches as I have, you would think I'd have one by now, but I like keeping my, my room, my bedroom simplistic. I don't have stuff like that, especially when somebody comes in, I have guests, I don't want all my watches being displayed. And you know, eventually I'll have a walk-in closet to where I can just have everything laid out. I know you've seen those type of movies, you know, like Iron Man or something like that. He has all his watches just set up. I mean, I, I'll get to that point, you know, in, in the future, but you know, um, it's, 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 it's something where, you know, it, it, honestly, not, I'm not disrespecting the brand or anything. The, the only time I, I recognize this watch or I actually discovered this watch is when I was watching a Sylvester Stallone movie, Daylights, uh, and then Expendables and all that. I was like, whoa, what type of watch is that? Because believe it or not, uh, Sylvester Stallone is actually a big a big uh, a Panerai advocate. And, and I mean, he rocks them well. I mean, he has all these different types. I mean, he, he has Rolexes and all that. But, you know, Panerai is like, whoa, what type of watch is this? This, this little bridge right here the crown bridge actually intrigued me and I, and I looked it up and I believe it or not you know it, to me and just and this is just my opinion I think you know Sylvester Stallone actually brought it into mainstream so this is why I love this watch because of the fact that when I put this watch on nobody's looking at me like what kind of watch is that or is that a Rolex or whatever no only the people that actually know about watches can say hey I like your Panerai I'm like yeah you know because they, they know about watches so it's a very very um, conservative discreet watch um, like I mentioned, I used to have one of the, the Pam 104 that actually had the date on there. And, and like I mentioned, I hardly ever wore it. So every time that I had to wear this watch, not only did I have to wind it up, I also had to set the date. Um, so this one is awesome because like I mentioned, I'll pull this out for a special occasion. Today I just rocked it because of the fact that I had a jacket on. You know, I already had the black strap, rocking jeans, and definitely rocking my uh, my McGregor Mayweather actual shirt, you know, for the fight next week. But um, thank you so much, guys. Um, I wish I can say more about this. Um, oh, yeah, I do have I have one more thing to say about this before I, I get off. I love the fact that the actual, the, 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 uh, the bridge, the crown, uh, sorry, the crown guard is actually um, brushed. Um, steel and simply because of the fact that you do have to wind this I like it that I have I can pop this out and go ahead and start winding it without the worry about actually scratching the actual bezel so kudos to that whoever thought about that you would think it would go you know uh, polished steel all the way across but no just that little crown guard right there is actually br uh, brushed and I don't know if they did that on purpose but for me it, it actually helps a lot because when I do wind the watch you know I, I'm definitely scared to scratch the bezel next you know I got to get it polished and all that and love the fact that it does have the here I'm actually stuck um, the leather strap right here uh, the plastic ones you can actually have like my Pam uniform that did have the butterfly clip right there that you could just pop it off eventually I'll switch it out but like I mean this is the only time I pull it out is when I actually have something nice to wear tuxedo sue like I mentioned I married I got married in this watch right here but guys thank you so much just wanted to point this out the Pam 510 8 day beautiful watch go check it out my next Panerai if I do go out there and get it, it's gonna be the Pam 88 oh my god that's a beautiful watch right there so guys thank you so much thank you for subscribing thank you for visiting my website everything everything much appreciated it goes unnoticed guys so thank you so much you guys have a good one peace